Hi everyone, welcome back, Akisha Hay, the Trini Chef. Today I'm actually gonna take a recipe from my Haitian family. Um, and one of the things that I love about culture is that the one thing that we share in common is food. So whether you're from Haiti, Jamaica, Trinidad, America, we all have similarities in our cooking and this dish exemplifies that. So the dish that we're doing today is pickles, um, which is part of a dish that I'm going to do, which is called the um, Haitian pork grill that's served with the pickles. So I'm just going to show you in this video the, the making of the pickles, which is pretty much pickled vegetables. The base of this pickled vegetable, it's cabbage, carrots, scotch bonnet peppers, and green peppers or colored peppers. Um, there's a lot of other things that go into it, but that's the base of it, along with some white vinegar, um, salt, etc. So pickles is one of those condiments that are kind of on the table at all times if you go to a Haitian home. Um, it is served with a lot of different things, but it's really used as a condiment to enhance a lot of flavor. So it's very spicy, very tasty, but something that you can really use with a bunch of different things. So to start my pickles recipe, I have my, my pan here that I'm gonna add four cups of white vinegar to. So the difference between pickles or pickled vegetables in a salad is that you really want to keep the vinegar um, and you're also going to add salt and sugar and other things and you're going to pour that over the vegetables and when it cools you jar it so that way it pretty much stays. Um, this can stay for at least a month so it's pretty good. So here I have my vinegar that I'm going to heat up. To the vinegar I'm going to add some salt just uh, sea salt, sugar. I have some peppercorns, if you can see. So instead of using crushed black pepper, I'm using peppercorns. I have my scotch bonnet peppers that I've sliced. I left a little bit of the seeds so I can get some heat from it. This is my little touch. I have just one sprig of thyme and I have some garlic in there as well. So all of these little things I'm gonna cook with the vinegar. Um, and then I have some pimentos here. That's not a traditional pickles item, but because I'm from Trinidad, I add the pimentos because it gives it a, a really nice flavor. So we're gonna heat this vinegar and we're gonna stir it with all these ingredients in it. And all we're looking for is the vinegar to get really hot, but also for the sugar and the salt to dissolve completely. So I'm gonna let that take its time and happen. And in the meantime, I'm gonna mix the vegetables so you can see um, what I have here. So here I have some fine shredded cabbage that I'm gonna to add to my bowls. I have some carrots. So instead of grating the carrots, I julienne them, so slice them very thin. So that way my pickles can have some texture. I have my peppers that I slice nice and thin. I'm using red, green, and yellow peppers. <clears throat> I also have some onions that I have sliced very thin that I'm also gonna add here. I'm just gonna mix this together. So this does not take long once you have all your vegetables and everything cut up. So we always talk about prep. Really try and, and make sure <clears throat> everything is cut and ready to go because it will make it a lot faster to get this done. And these pickles are really best if you do them in advance and you let them sit at least 24 hours. They are absolutely amazing. If you don't want it, if you want it with more crunch, you use it sooner. And if you don't mind it getting soft as time goes by, you can definitely let it sit a lot longer. So my vinegar, <coughs> excuse me, and everything is ready. So that's gonna go right in. So 
So folks, here I have everything in my bowl, my cabbage and all my vegetables. Once you add that vinegar, you're gonna get the heat off of those scotch bonnets. So it's gonna be a really strong smell. So just be mindful of that. And then now that I'm just gonna make sure the vinegar is covering all my vegetables. And then we're gonna let that cool. And then later on, we're gonna put those in glass jars or bowls and keep it for a pork griot.